Hey folks, it's Ben Capozzi with Elmwood Farm Tree Crops and the Main Street Gardener and uh, it was 60 degrees yesterday and a bunch of my stone fruit trees have actually started waking up, uh, which is bad. It's back down to uh, in the uh, low 40s today, so I need to start uh, pruning these trees up and collecting cyanwood. So I'm going to start right now with uh, one of these cherry trees. Let me show you what we're looking at. All right, so this is my Utah Giant cherry tree. Uh, it went in the ground uh, almost three years ago. Uh, it was already probably three to four years old when I got it. So it's approaching six or seven years old. Uh, I didn't prune it well at all last year, and I didn't prune it at all last summer, uh, which is important. So uh, it's out of control right now. I like to keep all my trees here in the home orchard quite small. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna trim this up. Uh, and the thing with cherries that you want is you want openness. You want light and air to flow through it very easily. And you can see here, this thing is just super um, congested. Uh, there's just too many branches. So I'm gonna come in here and start opening this up. Take out that, take out that. Same thing on the other side and just really open this up quite a bit. So about a third to a half of, uh, of this tree is gonna come out. So I'll show you what I, I'll show you the next step in a moment. Hey Lily. All right, so here's what I took off in my first pass. There's quite a bit more I'm gonna take off, but you can see that's a lot. Um, and this is a ton of really good um, cherry scion wood that I can trade or graft onto other trees. But if you look at the tree now, taking off, what, three, four feet off the top in different places. I'm gonna come in now with my smaller shears and take off this, cause it's recursive growth, growth back into the center of the tree. That's gonna go. I'll probably trim this back quite a bit. These back here are gonna get trimmed up a lot. I've gotta figure out which of these I wanna keep and which are gonna go, probably right about there or so. Definitely gotta clean out this junk in the back as well. So uh, I'll be right back. Lily, what do you think? All right, so that's everything that I took off the tree. There's a ton of smaller sticks and honestly a ton of larger sticks. Here's what the tree looks like now. The sun's come out, which is nice. But you can see I've taken off 40, maybe 50% of the top of this tree. Typically in a single season, you don't want to cut more than 30%, but uh, I failed to do my summer pruning which is important, so I had to make some real corrective cuts here. The real downside of this that I'm thinking right now is your summer pruning knocks the vigor out of your trees, um, which is good if you wanna keep them small, which I do, um, but I didn't do that. So this tree has so much energy stored up in its roots because it got so big last year. So uh, Lillian always finds a sunny spot. Um, so this tree is going to put on a ton more growth this year. Um, because it's got so much energy in its roots but this year i'll be on it and i'll do my um summer and maybe even a fall pruning again before i do my winter pruning right now this is winter pruning so anyhow um and we'll see i'm i don't want to cut more off of the tree but i'm kind of tempted to knock off this and this and this so that it would basically be like that and then in the back like that and then cut that off there but uh I'm just not going to. I feel like I've cut off enough. So we'll see uh, what happens. The next step is to go indoors, uh, trim all this up, wrap them up, and put them in the crisper in the refrigerator so that I have scion wood to trade uh, and also to graft more myself. So if you're into this sort of thing, um, you should totally become a member of NAFEX, N-A-F-E-X, the North American Fruit Exchange. It's an awesome group, great uh, Facebook group. You don't have to pay any dues to be a member of the Facebook group, but lots of people there to help folks uh, in North America who are interested in uh, exploring and learning about fruit trees. So, uh, highly recommended. And um, if you like more of the stuff that I do, you can check out our Facebook page for Elmwood Farm Tree Crops, or you can check out my website, the Main Street Gardener .com. Have a great day.